What we're gonna look at now is simply called a letter ball. Uh, more officially, it's called a Marsden ball. It's a very, very simple tool for working on eye tracking. Uh, when we talk about eye movements, we basically have our eyes need to be able to go side to side, up and down, and basically track a moving object. So this, the advantage of using this particular device is the patient or client can take it home, they can hang it from the doorway or from a ceiling. Uh, and so I'm gonna have Micah turn and face here. So if I were in charge of the exercise, I would have her look at a letter and then I'm just gonna start it moving. So we're gonna get a reactive movement of her eyes as she's tracking the letter that she can see. If I wanna make it more complicated, I can make it a three-dimensional swing. So now she's tracking the letter going in and out. And then as we make it more complicated, we can begin spinning uh, the ball. So now she's trying to identify different letters as they're passing by. So we're working on her ability to see, identify, and then also create eye movement. From there, it becomes pretty simple for her to now begin including some movement herself, some proprioception. Uh, so now I'm gonna start the ball in motion, pick a letter, all right, and just reach out and touch it. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. So depending on when they hit the ball, touch it, it's obviously gonna swing in a larger arc or a wider arc, which makes it a little bit more challenging. What I normally like to have them do is switch hands with each touch. So now we're getting a little bit of uh, bilateral coordination work. Once they progress beyond this, you can obviously also cut the string off and play catch with them. Uh, so there's a lot of different options that you have, but it's again, a very simple, easy tool to work on uh, eye movements and then also the ability to track uh, moving objects and work on hand-eye coordination all with one simple device.